Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock and this is Captain's Vlog. A request I've been getting time and time again is, Tristan, please can we have a tour of the Captain's Cabin? Now, some of you may already know this, but in fact, I don't actually sleep in the Captain's Cabin. I sleep in the crew cabin because my partner uh, is the chief steward on board and we share a cabin, we have two separate beds because in the captain's cabin, the bed, the bed isn't big enough for, for the two of us. But before we go into the two of the captain's cabin, I wanna show you, which I haven't shown you before, is my desk, what we have in, in, all, the, in all the cupboards. So a standard normal desk, which we actually built, it wasn't originally here. What was originally here was actually a raised sofa, it's like a couch, so guests can come in, sit down, and um, have a look out the uh, out the windows. Now, for me, I don't mind guests coming in for a few minutes, but ideally, you want the the bridge to be quiet so you can focus on the job in hand because there can be a distraction. So I said to you, I want to remove it, make make it make a desk, and um, it, it's it's been great and uh, it's really a lot more helpful than just a normal sofa. So let's show you guys what your kind of publications we carry here. Here we have. All the usual stuff, a Marpole, the MP 100s Mariner's Handbook, we've got our contingency plans, we've got Marpole, medical books, we've got our bridge procedure guides, uh, we've got our tidal atlases, we've got our site reduction tables, a SOLAS, we've got our codes of signals, all the typical publications you would find on any vessel. And the next covered over, we've got additional safety management manuals, so this is all part of our ISM, so International Safety Management. We got our COSWAT, which is the Codes of Safe Working Practices, and I've got all the ship certificates. Um, so it'll be things like all the class certificates, flag certificates, and so on. So let's uh, show you actually how we get to the captain's cabin. So this is the bridge, as some of you may know. Uh, we leave the bridge. Just a short interruption, guys, to tell you about today's sponsor, Absolute Magnitude. In absolute magnitude, they supply paint and gel coat polish products, stainless steel polish and protection, eco-friendly teak cleaning and treatment, dry ice cleaning, anti-fouling, and ultra pure water cleaning technology. Now I can vouch for AM because we on board Motor Your AWOL have been using them for many, many years, and all their products are fantastic, and we have nothing but good thing to say about them. So go and check them out at www.absolute-magnitude Com, or send them an email at info at absolute-magnitude.com. We got uh, through into the bridge shot on, but then this door here on the left is actually the captain's cabin. So we're gonna go in. And as you can see, pretty standard cabin. We got the bed, got a television here. Now this is what we call the bridge navigational watch alarm system. So while the captain is sleeping and we are navigating, the person on watch needs to be moving the whole time because we have a sensor. If they don't move, it might mean that they've uh, fallen asleep or they've hurt themselves or they're not on the bridge. And so what will happen is over, I think it's two minutes, no, it is two minutes, the, the bridge will sense there's nobody on the bridge, there's no movement on the bridge and an alarm will go off here making the captain aware. We also have a repeater in the crew mess, um, so the crew will also, also know. Here, we've got a little light, a little reading light here. This goes on, so at night you can nicely read your book. You can nice bookshelf here, here, or you can have your little speaker or laptops or iPads. The typical cupboard space, nothing too special. More cupboard space, we've got a socket there, power socket. And then got the wardrobe. I think the wardrobe will have the um, life jacket, captain's life jacket, and the fire extinguisher. Behind the door, we have a torch or flashlight, additional kind of like hanging space here. The TV, uh, basically, I don't think it really ever gets used. I think, you know, these days we all tend to use our laptops or iPads or iPhones for, for entertainment. I know I do, the rest of the crew really do. 
So actually, in fact, in the crew mess, we do have TV and uh, Sky, but we actually never, I don't think I've ever used it. When we first got the boat, we started using it, but this year we haven't used it at all. So we'll make our way. Um, actually, before we make our way in, we've got a separate, you can see here, got a, two speakers. So we do have a individual stereo here, which goes through the TV as well. The window does actually open, but as you can see, we've got keep closed at C, which is quite nice. And as we're on the uh, on the bridge deck, you don't really have much risk of flooding, especially in the med in the, in the summer. Make our way into the head. Got a shower here, decent sized shower. Bear in mind, this is not the biggest captain's cabin by far in the world. We, you know, we are only 122 foot, but you know, decent size, good enough. Use your sink, your cupboard for your bits and bobs. And some more additional uh, windows. That's the thing gone. Nice here. So plenty of uh, kind of natural light that comes through. And so, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. We've got our um, sprinkler system here, uh, smoke and heat detector. Um, so, yeah. The only thing I want to say, uh, the difficulty with this cabin is is the location because um, depending on the schedule of the person sleeping in this cabin, uh, they do suffer from a lot of noise because you can imagine as we as we leave the cabin, this here this here is a guest area. So let's put the light on there. So if the guests are maybe staying up, maybe having a bit of a party till the early hours in the morning. The captain's cabin, which is kind of just here, and you can hear everything. Uh, that's one of also the reasons I like sleeping down in the crew areas, because it's, it's nice and quiet. Um, you don't get all the noise. But here again, you get your own space. It's bigger than the other cabins. Uh, you're on your own, which, is, which can be quite nice. And really at the end of the day, the idea is to be as close to the, to the, to the bridge as possible. For me, it takes me probably 10 seconds if I'm in a rush to get from my cabin to the bridge, but this will take you, what, three seconds. That's, um, that's one of the main reasons that they put the captain's cabin uh, close to the bridge is to, so in case of an emergency, he can be there very quickly. But in our circumstances, um, you know, it's not uh, a huge difference if it's a few seconds um, later. So that's the tour of the captain's cabin. Give you guys an idea, because I know you've been waiting for a long, long time for this video. Uh, the reason it took so long because it, it um, it's now an empty cabin, so we, I didn't want to really invade the crew members' space. So it's all been emptied out, and then for um, for next season they'll come back on board. As at the moment we're all living on shore and not staying on the boat. So as always, guys, really hope you enjoyed that quick tour. It's quite short, uh, but it's it's done now. You've seen the captain's cabin. As always, do please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like this video, um, do give it a thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you all next video.